I feel pretty lucky that I've spent a lot of time being in front of total strangers. And when I was a stage actor, I spent a lot of time auditioning and that was a hell of an experience, just being in front of people where, you know, it just can be really, really scary. So I feel very lucky that I've had a lot of time to practice that throughout my life. And so my heart goes out to each and every one of you who are on the job hunt and starting to feel a little demoralized by the experience. I've heard stories of people applying 20, 30, 40, 50, even upwards of 100 times for a new position and hearing nothing back, barely even getting an initial screening interview. And again, I understand that can be very demoralizing. So I have started to reread a book that I read a couple of years back. Um, and there was a quote from this book that I wanted to share with you today. First, what is the book? It's called Courage is Calling by the author Ryan Holiday. Now, if you're not familiar with Ryan, he's written a series of books that I highly recommend. The Obstacle is the Way, Ego is the Enemy, and most recently I finished reading Stillness is the Key. Now, Ryan often pulls his, his muse is Stoic philosophy. So folks like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, those of many, many, many years ago that had written down some wise, or written down their wisdom and their insights um, from a very different time that we're in today. And what Ryan often does is he takes those same principles, those same insights, and applies them to what is going on in our current society. So this is another one of those books, and I highly recommend it. But like I said, there's one excerpt here that I wanted to read to you, um, specifically to those folks who are starting to feel really demoralized. The title of the uh, chapter is called Agency is an Effective Truth, and this is the excerpt. If you think something is too scary, it's too scary for you. If you don't think you have any power, you don't. If you aren't the captain of your fate, then fate is the captain of you. Now, what this reminds me of is a really unfortunate and potentially scary truth, yet a very effective one. And that is that while you cannot control the outcome, you cannot control whether or not you'll get the call back, you'll get even the job for that matter, what you can control is the actions you take that influence the potential for that outcome coming your direction or working out to your advantage. And part of the actions you can take is where you put your focus. So if we put our focus into being a failure, we put our focus into a state of disempowerment, we put our focus into beliefs that don't work to our advantage and don't motivate us to make or make decisions that are different or changes, then the byproduct is that we will get exactly what we are focusing on, which is effectively nothing or failure in our own eyes. So instead, if what we do is we put our attention into the things we can control, which is more often than not our reactions and actions, then what we are likely to see is a greater opportunity to succeed, to achieve the goal we wanna achieve. Now, it may be that the best first step for you right now, when you feel that state of being demoralized and beaten down, is to find calm and peace in that feeling and maybe it's a five minute meditative practice that puts you in the right state of mind so that you can tackle your day and you can tackle the job hunt in a state of optimism instead of a state of deflation and defeat. So consider that maybe it's the mental state that you have to put your attention into first so that you can stay positive and you can enter the room, whatever that looks like for you, in a good place and in a productive place long term. I bet that if you stayed there, you will find yourself with the job you want. Something to think about.